Hey guys, um, since the go-kart rig is pretty much done, or at least good enough to use consistently now, I figured I'd give a little tour of the van and kind of how I have things set up and uh, talk you through what this thing is, really, because most people are going to be like, what in the world kind of vehicle is that? Let's take a look here and see what we've got. To start off, this is a 1994 Toyota Hiace Super Custom Limited with full-time four-wheel drive. This is a Japanese import. As you can see, the wheel is on the other side. It's right-hand drive. So the whole reason I got this is because I wanted something to, to take my go-kart to the track, but I didn't want like a normal domestic market van. Um, I didn't really want a trailer. I didn't want to have the hassle of storing a trailer. I didn't want to have to buy a tow vehicle for that trailer. I kind of like the idea of one self-contained unit. Um, and as a van, you can use it to, you know, haul people around too, if you want to haul the family around or, uh, you know, make Home Depot runs and pick up wood or whatever you need to do. It can kind of serve as a pickup truck in that way too. Um, so I started looking for these Japanese vans and I'm sure a lot of you guys saw on Instagram, I bought another one last year which was a Toyota Light Ace, but that was a little bit too small, a little bit not quite what I wanted. This thing is, this thing is as nice as it comes. This is a 94 High Ace, like I said. It's a pretty common van in Japan, and this is the highest trim level they made in the 90s. Um, and in the 90s in Japan, they were going through a huge economic boom. So the car manufacturers just kind of threw everything at, at all their vehicles. So this has a ton of features that it really doesn't need, but are pretty cool. Um, it's kind of peak 1990s Japanese weirdness, which is really why I like it. I like weird, quirky vehicles. I don't like buying something mainstream. I like buying something weird. So I, I think this has a lot of character, which is another reason I like it a lot. Um, so let's just walk through how we've turned this weird 1990s Japanese minivan into a go-kart hauler. So the primary thing this, this thing has to do is fit a go-kart in the back. So here's the go-kart. Now the go-kart's a little bit too wide. This van is actually pretty narrow, but it's very boxy, so it makes use of the space pretty well. Um, but to get the cart in here, we had to take the side pods off and the rear bumper and the rear wheels, which isn't a huge deal. It's a few bolts. And honestly, I like taking the side pods off at the end of the day anyway to clean stuff. So that's not a huge deal to me. Um, and then the other big thing I wanted in this was I wanted the ability to use this middle row of seats if I needed to carry some people. Um, and this is just big enough. The van is just big enough to fit the cart in here and still use the middle seats. So to get the cart in here, we had to build this rack. The highest originally comes with three rows of seats. We took that third row out and we built this custom rack that fits right into the channel where that third row seat was, it bolts in. So it's super stable um, and it holds a couple ramps and the cart slides in on the ramps, pretty easy. And then I bought some containers that go, you know, kind of perfectly right underneath this ramp to fit all miscellaneous parts, spares, gears, whatever you kind of need, whatever will fit in there. And on the other side there, there's a folding table uh, that fits in there nice too, so we have a work table. Um, still haven't come up with a perfect solution for my bag. Right now it's just sitting right there, which isn't perfect for, for my gear bag, but um, it works. Um, and as you can see, it also has power curtains in the back, which is kind of cool. You know, if you want to have this thing parked somewhere and you don't want people to know there's a expensive shiny go-kart in the back, you can close those curtains, they can't see in. And then for track day stuff, I installed this awning here. So this is a rollout awning. So this comes out, you know, eight feet or so. Um, and that'll give you a nice pit area right here out, out of the side uh, off the sliding door. So that's pretty nice. Come around back. I've got this hitch carrier, which right now I've got the cart stand and a fuel jug strapped to. So stuff that doesn't fit super nicely inside the vehicle, it's kind of awkward, can go back here. And fuel, which you don't really want inside the vehicle because it's going to make it stink and it might spill and ruin the carpet. I mean, the carpet of this thing is going to get ruined anyway, but, you know, I try to keep it as nice as I can for as long as I can. Up top, we've got this roof rack. 
which I haven't really figured out exactly what I want to throw up here. Probably like spare tires for the cart um, and other stuff, you know, that is kind of messy that you don't want to go inside. Doesn't fit nicely in there. You can throw up here and it won't, it won't ruin the interior and it'll be out of the way a little bit. Um, and if it's awkward size, it'll fit up here a little bit better too. So if we take the hitch carrier off, we can get to the back. Kind of see how everything fits in here. Um, everything that we can tuck underneath here is tucked underneath here. Starter tires, toolbox. Um, and the cart just sits kind of nicely right in between here. It's just strapped across the front. It really can't move in the back the way it's sitting on the stand. Yeah, and it rides pretty nice right there. It doesn't really beat against anything. So that's pretty cool. Let me close that back up and then we'll look at some of the cool little weird Japanese features it has. So like a lot of Japanese vans and other vehicles, it's got this little reverse mirror here. So if you look inside at the rear view mirror in there, you can see in here and it shows down at your bumper. So you can see where you're backing into, which is nice. It's also nice because you can see the hitch carrier. So if something's flopping or falling off the hitch carrier, I can see it before it actually goes. Um, like I said, it's all wheel drive. We'll go get in it, look at the interior. So it's got this uh, velour brown interior fabric, which is like kind of ugly, but also kind of awesome at the same time. So it's got comfort entry seating and steering tilt. So like when I uh, put the key in, the seat will move forward and the wheel will move down back to the position I had it in. So it's got this digital dash, which is pretty wild for a 1994 van. Um, it's got back and clearance sonar. Essentially, it's got parking sensors. It's got this, which is called Joyful Talk. This is an intercom system. So there's a speaker right here that I can hear the, the passengers in the back. And there's a microphone in here somewhere where I can talk to the passengers in the back so I don't have to yell at them. So if, I, so if you had kids in the third row, you wouldn't have to scream at them and they wouldn't, you know, they wouldn't be screaming at you if you needed to talk to them. And it's got rear heat, rear AC, uh, Japanese radio, which isn't ideal. It doesn't get any of the frequencies that you need to listen to anything here, but um, it is kind of cool that it's got, you know, the factory stereo in there. Um, and now to the good stuff. So you can see right here, the cool and hot box with ice maker. So this has a built-in center console, cool and hot box. So in here, this gets either hot or cold with the AC or the heat, and it can even make ice cubes in this little ice tray that's in here. So you can keep your drinks at whatever temperature you want. Uh, and I tested it and it works pretty well. Uh, and then back here, this is a built-in mug from Toyota. This is all factory stuff. So this has got a heating element in here, and this will boil water in this mug, which also works. I tested it and it works, which is incredible. Like, I don't know if I'll ever use that ever, but it's a really cool thing to have. Like, if you were camping or something and you wanted coffee or tea or something in the morning, you needed something to heat up your beverage, that would do it. It's got one, two, and then kind of can see back there, three, four, it's really one piece of glass, but it's got four roof openings for sunroofs, which is great. It makes it really light and airy in here. It makes it feel bigger than it actually is. This is what I've got for a cart rig, and I'm pretty happy about it. It's not perfect, um, but it's kind of, I like the challenge of taking something that isn't really intended for the use I want to use it for and, and like fixing it up and making it what I want. I think that's really fun. So yeah, that's a tour of my weird Japanese cart van. It's not exactly built for the purpose I'm using it for, but that's kind of the fun, you know, seeing potential in it and then converting it and uh, building it out the way you want. I'm pretty stoked about it. We'll see. I don't know how long I'm gonna be racing or going to the track with this thing, but uh, it seems to serve its purpose pretty well and I'm pretty excited about it. Hope you like it too.